Tamboritsons proudly present Phoenix. An unforgettable show bursting with music. Exhilarating song. And traditional dances. Just amazing pure energy. I love it. I'm sitting there staring with a smile like. Oh my God. Since 1937, the Tamboritsons have been entertaining audiences worldwide with their breathtaking entertainment. Join the Tammies for a thrilling trip around the world.
Where are we? Lake Nebegaman, Wisconsin. <laughs> This is a small village. Yeah, this is a and big we deal. took, we just take them in, like they are part of us here when they're here. Every year I can't wait for August. Family and friends, they all come here, so you will know it's going to be a full house again tonight. We used to train here, and we had a connection way back in the 40s. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. when I was a child, we used to literally, in our swimsuits, because we'd swim at the beach, we'd come up to the auditorium and we were able to go in there and watch them rehearse. The Tam Britsons basically took over the community of Lake Navagaman. The Tammies were the town. They had their own little houses. They had a house. Oh yeah. They were like local yokels. We're in Tamboritsons Field, Lake Nebagaman, Wisconsin. All that enthusiasm. They were so good. Tamboritsons began in 1937. Small group of musicians coming up out of Texas. It was a small orchestra. I think it was 13 or 14 guys. The evolution of the Tamboritsons performance has been almost like a sit-down show. And it started from very humble beginnings, almost like vaudeville. A couple guys on stage playing and telling a few jokes, maybe. And then it changed in the late 60s, early 70s, to be more marketable of a variety-type show. And now, of course, we're still doing the traditional performances, but making them more marketable, more commercial, and all the technology that goes along to support that. And now it's a production. That's the Tamboritsons. You know, when we go backstage here, it's challenging, you know, get, getting up around the building. So we have to go outside, walk all around the building in the grass and the mud, hope we don't slip in our costumes. It's very tight quarters backstage, so all of our quick changes have to be set farther from stage than we're used to. So there's a lot of running going on, there's a lot of panic behind stage, but the magic of it is that the audience would never know because we get on stage and we're, and we're calm, cool, and collected. come here for some reason. I think the past spirits and the present and the future is all in this place. That's how I can describe it. It's magical. Oh, there you got it. Cheers. You guys liking the show? Oh my God, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Amazing. The dance. The oh my gosh. The energy. Oh, oh the energy. They're so talented. I got yearbooks. From all of the years that we have been here. Yes, oh. Come to Lake Nebagam in Wisconsin for the Tamboritsons. and it's a hot ticket.
the Tamboritsons. I, I don't know that there is a more Pittsburgh performing group in the world. Um, it's just so amazing to see the dance, the music, hear the music, and, and just see all the joy that comes uh, in this package. And uh, we're happy to bring it to you today. We're just going to take a quick pause right now so that you have a chance to show your appreciation. Give us a call at the number on the screen. Become a member of WQED. And this is a WQED produced program that we know people across America and around the world are going to want to see. So it's just to me an amazing thing that I remember even from when I was a kid growing up here in Pittsburgh, the Tamboritsons were legendary. They started around the 1930s. Uh, they were in Austin, Texas for just a short period of time. And then they realized Pittsburgh had so many varieties of immigrants from all over the world that it was a really better place to be than Austin, Texas. And so that's what they capitalize on. The fact that people may know some of these dances. If they don't know, they're going to be impressed by the precision, by the beauty, uh, by the costumes, uh, the lipstick. I mean, there's so many things that I think of when I watch this, and I just love all of this. And even when they're singing in a language that I don't know, I find my mind trying to figure out what they're thinking about. I, at one point, I think in the Croatian uh, wedding dance, I thought they were singing about pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. There's so many th reasons why you might love this show and want to share it with everybody. Um, but the most important thing is you know that it's here. It's here in Pittsburgh. It's produced by WQED. And you can help make sure that things like this continue just by going to your phone and giving us a call. Rick, you set that up beautifully. You do not get more Pittsburgh than the Tamboritsons celebrating their culture, the history, and then supporting WQED. It's only with the support of viewers like you that we can bring not just programs, experiences like this right into your home. I mean, we, it's more than just a front row seat. You are right on stage with the Tammies as they are singing, dancing, enjoying it all. And we really need your support today. You know, in addition to calling and, and becoming a member that will help us to continue to bring programs and experiences like this right to you, we have a very special premium that is tied right to this program. For just $10 a month, $120 for the year, we will send you a beautiful four inch glass pisanka ornament. They come right from Ukraine. Rick was describing them earlier. They, they're like the eggs, you know, the, the Easter eggs that, that we are all so familiar with, but they are in the shape of an ornament. They come in various colors. And just by pledging today, picking up that phone, giving us a call, we will send that to you as a thank you gift for your support of this beautiful program and this station and everything that we bring you. In addition, we have a very special experience that you are not going to want to miss. Check it out. Experience the Tamboritsons live Friday, March 1st at 7 p.m. at the legendary WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Become a member of WQED with an investment of $10 a month as a sustainer or an annual contribution of $120 and we will thank you with a ticket to experience the longest running stage show in America. Join WQED for an exclusive performance from the Tamboritsons followed by an evening of eating, drinking and dancing. Enjoy authentic cultural cuisine meet members of the ensemble, and learn traditional dances from around the world. Join us March 1st for this international experience filled with dance, food, and a cultural tour around the world. Reserve your ticket now, and you'll also gain access to WQED Passport, a member benefit that allows you to stream your favorite WQED shows, like Phoenix, anytime, anywhere. The Tamboritsons Live, March 1st at the WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Call the number on the screen or go to wqed.org slash donate to reserve your ticket. Tickets are limited, so make your investment now to be a part of the celebration. 
I was so excited, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Rick Sivak, I work here at WQED. I'm here with one of my colleagues, Liz Constantino. And we're both here because we love this program, we love the Tamburitsons, and there's so many things that make this possible. Um, Frank Caloyero has been the producer, camera person, uh, he's the one who went up to Lake Nabagaman, and uh, you know, it just, the history of this group, um, they were affiliated with Duquesne University for most of their history, until about 2014 through 2016, they became an independent nonprofit organization, like WQED, they re rely on your you know, support and sponsorship, and you can become a member of WQED by just giving us a call at the number on the screen. Now, that Lake Nabagaman, obviously Pittsburgh's not the only place that loves this group, and I just love learning that history about, you know, spending summers up there on the lake and just really wonderful things. And that's the joy of this program. And um, I mentioned that Frank is the producer and camera person. His, he and his wife were both Tamboritsons when they were in college, and now their twins, Sam and Sophia, are also Tamboritsons. And you can watch for Sam in this next segment. He's the guy who stands on the table and becomes the Maypole. Uh, that was one of my favorite parts of the show. And we know how anxious you are to get back on this international celebration of cultures and the arts. And we promise we're going to get you right back to it. But we did want to take just one more moment to ask you again to support the station, to support our mission, to bring you these high quality arts and cultural experiences. And for just, you know, a, a few dollars a month by calling that number below, visiting the website. It takes just a matter of moments to support the station, to become a member, to get the benefit of Passport. Again, for just $10 a month, you can get the special Pasanka four inch ornament egg that comes right from the made in the Ukraine. That beautiful ornament can be yours by just picking up the phone and calling to make that pledge of your support. Like I said, we, we know how anxious you are to get back to the show. We are going to visit the Alpine region. We will see some of the beautiful dances and the costumes. You know, Rick had mentioned the level of detail that they put into the music, the costumes, the makeup, the movements, their facial expressions. We're going to visit that and we have a special backstage sneak peek for you too. You are not going to want to go, go away. Tune in. We hope you enjoy the rest of this next part of the show.
have all our costumes, our changing areas. As you can but see, you it's don't a get mess. That one. It's a mess. <laughs> The, the show itself is really unique, I think, because we bring so many cultures together and they're all different. When you're done, dance warm-ups. Okay. I only did Ukrainian dance before, but now I can experience dancing different cultures. Yes, I do. <laughs> Being on stage and being able to perform is a huge learning experience for me and that's something that has been a big takeaway for me. You know, whenever we learn these dances or different pieces, we learn a little bit about what the meaning behind the dance or the song is. Anything Should I just play? Anything you like. I think it's important to, to just spread the, the cultural awareness and traditions and you know we're losing it every year with you know time goes by but we're kind of keepers of traditions. We all become like a family and everyone has like different backgrounds and you meet people who are from different countries and keeping the culture alive I just think is really important. Uh, get in your windows make sure that you have um, space that people can see you. You got a nice large stage to work with um, let's make it um, let's make use of it. Uh, we started this journey back at TCC when we pulled out to go to Bethany. What a year. What a year we had. Tonight's the pinnacle. It's the night we get to show what we've done, what we've worked for. Our, our families, all our friends, everybody that's here, people that support this organization. Um, this is, you know, this is your night. Make it great. You've made me proud. Thanks.
experience. Fantastic. Get out of there. And, and <laughs> once, in a, well, once in a lifetime to see something this fantastic. That's right. Just amazing pure energy. High energy. They're fantastic. It's such an athletic method of dancing. What, what they're promoting is so happy. Awesome. Best ever. Best ever. And seeing the smiles on stage, that is just so heartwarming. I love it. I'm sitting there staring with a smile I'm like, no. <laughs> I love it. I mean, it's such a part of Pittsburgh history, and we're so proud of having them here. They enjoy what they're doing, and you can tell the joy of the dancing and the celebration of the culture. I got to admit, I'm Serbian, so whenever the Serbians come on, I go nuts. The Tamboritsans are a long tradition from Pittsburgh, and to carry on the traditions of ethnicity is amazing. These are just normal college kids that have transformed themselves and you feel like they've come there from the other country. I hope another hundred years they're still here. You can tell they're a family on stage just watching them. So to see them carry on that tradition and just literally take the part of their home country and to dance and sing like their ancestors is amazing. Welcome back world travelers. Oh. I hope you could feel the excitement from the audience as they were coming out, talking about their favorite parts of the show, talking about how much the Tamboritsons mean to them, seeing you know, the beautiful playhouse down at Point Park University. Oh, just, you feel like you're right there. And that is what you know, we are trying to do today, not just to give you a front row seat to the show, but to have you feel like you're a part of the show from going backstage, from going on stage, you know, being a part of this beautiful tradition. These, the Tamboritsans have been an organization that has celebrated all of these different cultures for, for over 80 years. There was a beautiful line that we saw earlier from one of the performers where they said that we are the, the keepers of traditions. And they, they truly do. They bring down to the smallest details, from the costumes, to the jewelry, to the makeup, to the movements, to their facial expressions, where you really feel like you are celebrating all of these different cultures together. Another long-standing institution has been right here, the station at WQED. We have made it a part of our mission to bring these experiences right to you, right there in your home. And here to tell you a little bit more about these two wonderful historical organizations is my friend Rick Seaback. We're both here at WQED and you know there is a long tradition of WQED working with the Tamboritsans. We even did a show here in 1967 with the Tamboritsans. <laughs> It's all part of being Pittsburgh, I think. And, you know, the wonderful blend of cultures from immigrants who've come from all over the world, who've settled in Pittsburgh, that's one of the things we're celebrating. And I know Liz was especially entranced by the Greek dance. I was amazed that, you know, in that one, all the women are wearing heels. And uh, it's like Ginger Rogers, you know, she did everything uh, Fred Astaire did, but backwards in heels. Uh, and here they're, they're dancing their hearts out. The precision amazes me. And also, I'm not a dancer, so, you know, how do they, how do they remember all these dance steps? It's truly amazing. I'm also extremely fond of the backstage clip. That just uh, astounded me, and I loved it because it wasn't as neat and orderly as the rest of the show. Backstage, they're moving fast and changing costumes and getting ready for the next segment. I just love the fact that the music is live. You know, no matter when they're dancing, whatever, there's live music, musicians are playing, and uh, certainly Alexandra Milkovich, the guy with the clarinet, just astounding. And that's part of the whole tradition too. Uh, originally, this was a musical group that just performed music. Now there's dancing and showmanship and all this wonderful, you know, I don't want to say glitz, but you know, it's, 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 a, it's an incredible display and it's live and we're lucky that we get a chance to see it. So we're going to also have a special event and I think you're going to want to be there. 
Experience the Tamburitsons live Friday, March 1st at 7 p.m. at the legendary WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Become a member of WQED with an investment of $10 a month as a sustainer or an annual contribution of $120 and we will thank you with a ticket to experience the longest running stage show in America. Join WQED for an exclusive performance from the Tamburitsons, followed by an evening of eating, drinking, and dancing. Enjoy authentic cultural cuisine, meet members of the ensemble, and learn traditional dances from around the world. Join us March 1st for this international experience filled with dance, food, and a cultural tour around the world. Reserve your ticket now and you'll also gain access to WQED Passport, a member benefit that allows you to stream your favorite WQED shows like Phoenix, anytime, anywhere. The Tamburitsons Live, March 1st at the WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Call the number on the screen or go to wqed.org slash donate to reserve your ticket. Tickets are limited, so make your investment now to be a part of the celebration. That is going to be a spectacular event. And we want you to come and join us and be a part of it. And you can. You can come and come and enjoy the, the tamboritsons, the beautiful dancing and the music right here with us by making that phone call and pledging your support. Visit, visit our website or call the number that is below on your screen right now. If you're unable to make it that day, you can still pledge your support to the station. We have some wonderful thank you gifts. Um, for $10 a month, we have the Pisanka 4-inch glass ornament that comes in a variety of colors. But in addition to the thank you gift, you also get the year-long benefit of WQED Passport. With your membership, you will have access to an entire catalog of programming to watch at your leisure, on-demand programs from the national specials like great performances and all of the different masterpiece programs that there are and also the local programs that we have for you. So call the number on your screen, pledge your support to the station so we can continue to bring these wonderful programs to you right there, giving you that front row seat and making you a part of that experience. I don't think we're quite done yet though on our world tour. What is coming up next from the Tamboritsons? To tell us a little bit more about that, here's my friend Rick Seaback. Thank you, Liz. Liz Constantino, a great person who works here at WQED with me. And we are both astounded at the show. I wanna mention just the athleticism that's involved in this. Um, you know, the two of us were saying like, can you believe like the, the, those dancers get down on the floor, they're up in an instant, they're doing all kinds of incredible stunts. Uh, they're all young and beautiful and it's just a wonderful show. It's a celebration of all kinds of ethnicity and Liz especially liked that part with the Greek dancers. I was astounded at the beginning when the Alpine thing started that the guys came in carrying a table. I love a dance where the guys come in carrying a table. So there's lots of things coming up. Hey, up, up, hey, up. We're going to Serbia next. And it's just uh, the kind of thing that WQED loves to do. We love to partner with groups here in the Pittsburgh area to celebrate every aspect of living in this town. And so you can help make this happen by just giving us a call to help continue to make this happen. Uh, call the number on the screen, become a member of WQED. And uh, you know, we're also gonna go to Calumet, Michigan, um, another place where this group has an astounding reputation. Don't go away, plenty of really great things still to come.
The Tamboritsans are a tradition in Calumet. They've been coming every year for many, many years. We're in Calumet, Michigan, right up in the Upper Peninsula, right up on the Keweenaw Peninsula. This was the first, the first municipally owned theater in the country. The village of Calumet took out loans and made an addition to the village hall, which we called the Calumet Theater. In one year, they put up this structure. When the theater opened in 1900, there were over 30,000 people within walking distance of the theater. Copper mining came to the area in the late 1850s. This was the place where the pure, pure copper came from. Each of the pieces of art that you see on our arch is designed to represent the five muses of the arts. The upper seats that you see, you see seats here, seats on the second balcony, which are some of the original seats from the theater, and then you see bench seats in the top. Those were bench seats so that they were easy to clean. That way the miners could come directly from the mine in their dirty clothes and sit up there. I'm holding a ticket from 1943 for our longest standing act, the Tamboritsans. They started here in 1938. This is their 86th season here. You have people that have come to see the Tammies ever since they were kids. Oh my gosh, probably about in 1952, 55. Probably about 60 years ago. It was in high school that I first heard them. The first time I saw them was in 1939. To be in amongst them was quite a, quite a thrill. With what we do, it's, it's very similar. PBS often has different fundraisers that they use to support their efforts. We do the same. PBS takes us away from the, the doldrums, but it bring, it's a, a, an adventure to the world. And, and that's, that's what we need more of. It's, it's a service to us. It's a service to the community. It's a service to the world. All cultures with their music and their arts add to our life. It's a cultural center uh, for, for the Upper Peninsula, really. It, it has a broad audience. Much like the, the mission from 1900 when they were first here in bringing in entertainment from other areas to the local people. The Tammies are just incredible and they continue it's all an educational experience. We've talked about the fact that QED works with the Tamboritsans. There's so many things you can learn from watching a program like this. The upper seats that you see, you see seats here, seats on the second balcony, which are some of the original seats from the theater. And then you see bench seats in the top. Those were bench seats so that they were easy to clean. That way the miners could come directly from the mine in their dirty clothes. You can also show your support for this kind of program by giving a call at the number on your screen. So, I also want to point out that I think the Serbians have better shoes than the Greeks. I love the shoes and the Serbian things with the little curled toes and all of that. And I found myself trying to figure out what that noyo, noyo, oyo, whatever they were singing about, because I wasn't sure and it didn't sound like any food that I could think of. Um, but there's so many reasons why we get joy out of this. Everybody looks at these programs differently, and that's part of their beauty. And, you know, it's just. Uh, the Calumet segment. I want to tell a quick little story if I could. Frank Colliero is the producer of this show, works here at WQED. He worked on my pie show about eight or nine years ago. We got to go to Bram, Minnesota for Pie Day. It's a little tiny town in uh, Minnesota. And when it was time to come back, I realized by looking at the maps, we could go back through Chicago the way we came, or we could go the Upper Peninsula. And Frank said, let's go the Upper Peninsula. And I didn't realize till we were there that he knew all these towns like Calumet in the Upper Peninsula because he had been a Tamboritsan himself. And they used to play all those places. And Calumet was the first community-sponsored theater, just like WQED was the first community-sponsored television station. They're a little bit older than we are, but we all profit from your support. And you can continue that support by just giving us that call. We tell you to do it all the time, but now is a perfect time. Call the number on your screen. Liz? We do appreciate your support and we need your support to bring more programs and experiences like this to you right there in your home. Rick was talking about the shoes and how much he loved the, the shoes in the Serbian segment. 
I have to say the socks. Did you see all of the different colored socks? They were beautiful. But I think overall my favorite part, you know, of this, this wonderful world tour that we are taking is the music. And I love how in this show, the musicians are a part of the ensemble. They're not just in the background. They come out and they share their, their beautiful talent in their music. And you get to see the accordion player's fingers flying over, over his instrument, the clarinet that we heard earlier, the flute. It's just beautiful. And I love that we are able to bring that right to you. But we couldn't do it without your support. And if you pick up the phone and call, Pledge your support to the station. We are going to thank you with a couple of different gifts. You can choose um, from the beautiful Ukrainian egg ornament as a thank you gift. We also will give you the WQED Passport, which gives you access to all of these wonderful programs that we make here. But in addition to that, there is a special event that is coming that you are not going to want to miss. And you can only come by picking up the phone and making that call. Experience the Tamboritsons live Friday, March 1st at 7 p.m. at the legendary WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Become a member of WQED with an investment of $10 a month as a sustainer or an annual contribution of $120 and we will thank you with a ticket to experience the longest running stage show in America. Join WQED for an exclusive performance from the Tamboritsons followed by an evening of eating, drinking, and dancing. Enjoy authentic cultural cuisine, meet members of the ensemble, and learn traditional dances from around the world. Join us March 1st for this international experience filled with dance, food, and a cultural tour around the world. Reserve your ticket now, and you'll also gain access to WQED Passport a member benefit that allows you to stream your favorite WQED shows like Phoenix, anytime, anywhere. Hey. The Tamboritsons Live, March 1st at the WQED Fred Rogers Studio. Call the number on the screen or go to wqed.org slash donate to reserve your ticket. Tickets are limited, so make your investment now to be a part of the celebration. That event looks like so much fun. I can't wait to be there. You're going to be there, right? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best to be there, too. And we're going to get to meet some of the dancers, maybe even learn some of those dances. Cannot tell a lie. We've been toe-stepping and toe-tapping along to it all throughout this program, haven't we? And I, and I don't know exactly how it's going to be there, but I know I've had this special privilege a couple times at various Tamboritsan events to see them rehearsing and performing, not in costume. And I, I find it just as fascinating. People's hair is down. It's just really fun. And, you know, I think sometimes when we look at the show, you think, where exactly are these people? Because it doesn't seem essentially American. It's, it's all these different cultures and, you know, like tiny bits of them and important bits. And I loved in the Calumet segment, how when we were getting some comments from people, the one older gentleman made the connection to PBS and said, you know, PBS does such a job of bringing these cultural things to us and sharing them. And that's what we're doing. And you are a crucial part of that as well. You need to call the number on the screen, become a member of WQED and show that you appreciate this kind of programming, which is a celebration of history and culture and everything. And everything. And we can't do it without your support. Call that number so that we can not only give you a front row seat to these performances, but we get all the other fun parts of the experience as well. We got to go backstage where we saw the, what do we call it? Organized chaos, I guess, of all the, <laughs> all the costume changes as the dancers were rushing in between numbers to get out there so they didn't miss their cue. I think it was in Lake Nebagaman where they had to run around the building. And I love that they stuff. They had to run around outside. And we were able to bring that to you because of support from you. So call that number. Help us to keep bringing more shows like this to you. And you know what? We're, we're talking like it's over, but it's not. There is a very exciting segment still to come about Ukrainian dance. And 
you know, I, I saw a thing on 60 Minutes about the threat to Ukrainian culture with what's going on there now and the fact that so much of it is being destroyed, but there are things like this that are helping to preserve Ukrainian culture. It's crucial. It, it is so important. And in fact, in this next segment, we're going to meet two dancers, Irina, who is actually from Ukraine, and she talks about how important it is to not only be able to celebrate and share her culture, but to get to experience all these other cultures. You know, they've, she mentioned that she's been dancing from a very young age. Well, I think the, the, the guy, the Dimitri, he also says that since I was three, I've been dancing. And that, that's amazing to me. I, I can't imagine myself dancing at any age. Uh, me neither, <laughs> just toe tapping here. Don't move, you're gonna want to really sit back and enjoy the rest of the show. Vibrant. Elegant. Glorious. Strong. Members from the audience came to me and said that when they saw Ukrainian dance, they felt like they were home. So I danced because I started early on when I was three years old, and since then it became the most important part of my life. I got into Ukrainian dancing when I was about three years old and I fell in love with it and I'm still doing it to this day. Through dancing, I can preserve my culture. Your culture defines who you are. Ukrainian set has the really colorful costume pieces. It's rich in history. And it's a very celebratory dance. The dance is from Poltava region. It's in central Ukraine. And when the audience sees this dance, they can see many tricks from male dancers. To show the strength and you know their happiness of victory after a successful battle. And how they defended our land. Girls are just supposed to support them and show the elegance. It just represents Ukraine in the most powerful way. This dance means a lot to me. Every time I dance it, it just feels like it's my home and it matters everything to me.
This concludes tonight's performance. Thank you for attending this presentation of the English Bible. I hope to see you in another performance soon. Guys, group hug. Group hug. Group hug. We all love each other so much. <laughs> Guys, we're all family and we're all going to be family for right. life. I right, love you all. One, two, three, Tommy! <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>